Now, we all know how special and how talented Easy Marshall is. The kind of player he is, they say once in a generation kind of talent. But y'all know, the most tragic news that recently happened, now he wasn't involved in the shooting. He was targeted in the shooting. And for Dabo Swinney, he had a tough choice to make. And that shooting was drawing too much attention to the program. But even though he wasn't targeted, that Bill Sweeney, he had to make a tough choice. A very tough choice to make. It wasn't an easy choice for Dabble. I mean, it's pretty much getting rid of easy. Now, pound for pound, this was, I mean, this is the best player in the nation that Dabble had to kick off the team. Now, at this point, Easy already graduated. Know what I mean? But letting this kind of talent walk, it wasn't easy. But Dabble had to do what he had to do. He couldn't draw negative attention to the program. He wasn't the kind of coach that was going to understand what happened and then sweep it under the rug. Nah. As I say, it was a tough choice for Dabble to make, but Letting that talent go, he was hard. As y'all can see, as each game goes on, he's getting less and less touches per game. But y'all know, Easy had to touch their rock 15 to 20 times a game, easy. Rather it's passing, running, catching it, whatever. It just, man. And this was the last game, the last play that you will see E.C. Marshall in the Clemson uniform. These are the final career stats for your boy Izzy. Passing wise, 329, four passing touchdowns, one interception. Rushing wise, one short rushing attempt short of 100, over 1,200 yards, 20 touchdowns. 22 runs over 20 yards. That's absurd. Receiving wise, four catches out of 100 for his career. 20, 20 yards, receiving yards, 23 touchdowns, nearly 87 receiving yards per game. But dude, this kid can, can do it all. Look at the yak yards, man. I want to have his receiving yards come runs after the catch. But them drops, too, too many. But we end up beating, they end up beating Boston College, you know, in front of the game after that, South Carolina, but they end up getting thumped in route by North Carolina. As you can see, he wasn't involved in no passing, no rushing, no receiving. You know, Dabo Sweeney had to do what he had to do. He didn't want to draw media, big media attention to the program. You know what I mean? It's hard to kind of deal with you know, a special player like that. He had to let him go. But, but despite Izzy missing the final three games, including an ACC championship, he still put up Heisman like numbers as he's finished second in the Heisman Trophy. Broke Sammy Watkins receiving record, bro. DeAndre Hoffman touchdown record. So it goes to show, man, that this kid is special. But they end up being Oregon State in the Rose Bowl. So being that he's no longer on the Clemson team, transfer him. Now, that's a question to y'all. Do he stay one more year or into the NFL draft? He can help out the win his Kentucky Wildcats. More than that, nine rushing touchdowns on the season. A lot of these teams, he had more rushing touchdowns and more receiving touchdowns than a lot of these teams combined. You know what I mean, he can go anywhere in the country if he choose to. You know, he can go like, to a Buffalo, go to a smaller school and really dominate. You know what I mean? So, it's up to y'all. Ready this kid stay one more year and then into the NFL draft or just say forget it and just into the NFL draft because I think his resume already speaks for itself. But I want to know you all's input. I want you all input on this next series that's coming up. I mean, the next series, next series episode, as you can see, the total passing yards all the way over it was just going over it briefly with you all again. His resume speaks to itself. The resume, it, it, it speaks first around draft pick. 
as far as what round, I don't know. But once again, see, he stay one more year or he can go this route right here. The NFL draft. So the choice is ultimately up to you all. So the decision ultimately up to you all. So he go to college for one more year or she just skipped college to just start preparing for the NFL draft. You know what I mean? Because I say his resume already speaks for itself. But y'all let me know. Also, before I get out of here, the next series, I'm seeing a lot of people doing the, you know, college football mind on PC. I do have it. I mean, it seems fun. Y'all let me know if y'all would be interested in that as far as the next series, that or the revamp. You know what I mean? Well, it's your boy CR8, man. And I'm going.